food grade material and they say it's safe and has the strength to hold a fat burrito together. The UN says by 2030, the world will experience about 560 natural disasters per year, which is like two per day, compared to about 400 in 2015. For comparison, from 1970 to 2000, the world only experienced 90 to 100 uh, medium large scale disasters each year. Most of this increase is climate related, of course, although war and COVID-19 were also cited as factors. This increase is most severe in the least developed countries. And in related news, a man lit himself on fire in front of the Supreme Court last week to protest climate change. This is the second time a climate activist has practiced self-immolation in recent years. In 2018, a gay rights lawyer uh, who also worked on environmental issues did exactly the same thing. The man who died last week was a climate scientist with the Environmental Defense Fund and a Zen Buddhist priest from uh, Boulder, Colorado. Uh, you got to give it to these people's dedication, you know? I mean, people got to say, you know, you got to look at yourself honestly and say, in order for my kid to live, I'm going yes. to light myself on fire. Now, if you said yes to in order for my kid to live, I'm going to light myself on fire. Start moving down from there. Uh, right. Your grandkid, your neighbor's kid, your nephew. How do you feel about your nephew? You're going to light yourself right. on fire for your nephew. How far down do you get before you get to climate change? It's like, that's pretty intense, man, to light yourself on fire. Yeah. Well, maybe climate yeah, change is real. I don't know. You know, now that he lit himself on fire, maybe, maybe I'm convinced. You know what? I've actually like, I've <laughs> thought about like this exact thing before because it's like, this is the type of protest that I think is actually commensurate to the scale of the problem. So it, it is, but I don't honestly, think, I, I, I think this think is it's horrifying, results. but it's yeah. also so like, it's really sad, but it's also like, can't fault you dude. Like, you know, this is, I can't, I can't, I can't fault him. And, and, and here's one, is it comparable in a poetic way? Absolutely. Um, like in a, you know, comparative way is it going to get the message out in any sort of way that makes a positive effect no frankly all it's going to do is kind of put some more carbon in the air but it's <laughs> okay, i don't know I, I i think it i, I think it's kind of it preaching to the news. choir i think the only people with compassion for him and his message already believe its message Maybe, but I think there are also a lot of people who are like, yeah, climate change is a problem, but they're still thinking of it kind of in terms of like sea level rise and stuff. Uh -huh. You know, they're they're thinking about it in very like 2005 terms. And I think a lot of people really don't understand the full gravity of like what we're dealing with here. And so I think doing stuff like this is maybe like gonna at least drive home the, the point. But Ultimately, I agree with you, and I think that's not because of the method, even though I think this was a good thing that this guy did. On it. Frankly, I, I think he, you know, what was he going to do with, with his life that's more important than bringing awareness to how we're all going to die, right? I don't think there's anything an individual can do with their life that's more important than that, really. Yeah. But I, in any solution to climate change is going to have to involve massive organizing, right? So you... This is about the most a single person can do on their own, I would say. And it's it's not enough. You need groups. You need big, powerful groups that can exert pressure on the government in a meaningful way to actually solve this problem. And and people have been trying to build those coalitions for a long time, but it's it's really tough when you know fossil fuel companies have are always gonna have you know, a million times the funding that you do if you're a climate advocacy group. Yeah. And I guess, you know, to be fair, there's something to be said about motivating the choir to sing a little better. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, so it's like, can you imagine what world we'd live in today if the uh, Ivanka Trump had self-emulated herself uh, on January 6th. 
<laughs> well, no, I, I I see your point. Like that that's kind you of know, insane. You would have motivated like, the choir probably pretty well. We probably live in a very different world today. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so, you know, I I think stuff like this galvanizes people, and I honestly I was. I was a little like, man, I thought there would be more reaction when I heard about this. Like initially I was like, oh, good. That's probably a good thing for someone to do. And then as time went on, I'm like, well, it didn't even make headline news. You yeah. know, people didn't well, even I'm, cover I it. Mean, look at what well, I mean. <laughs> I'm I'm in the choir and I'm a fairly compassionate individual. And uh, my first thought was, holy smokes, what a nut job. You know, that that's my first thought that came into my mind. You know, I had yeah. to think about it a little bit more and, and discuss it with you. But if it was just me here not having the conversation and I read the headline, <sighs> I'd be all whoa. I think that if that's person the case, needed some mental help. You know, that person needed some help. Somebody needed a bucket of water to help that guy. Yeah, maybe. But I think that I think that guy's the only sane one. Yeah, that's true. But you know, I I think if that was your reaction, I haven't done a good enough job stressing how we're all going to die on the show. But I feel like I'm a nut job, too. So maybe I'm my credibility is shot. Well, I don't know. Your credibility was shot because of the generation you were born into. <laughs> right. There we go. <laughs> Elon Musk bought Twitter. Elon said everybody's worrying about nothing. Twitter is going to remain a place where something you brain farted when you were in junior high. <laughs> can haunt you for the rest of your life. So stop worrying. <laughs>